So hey guys, welcome to another short adventure with me, Supernautus. Today we're playing The Supper, a uh, game about some darker side of humanity, from what I understand. Uh, it looks interesting. Let's give it a play, see what it's all about. The Supper. I don't know why I did that, but it is supposed to be like a horror -y sort of game, but it says it's a bite-sized game by Octavi Navarro. Thanks. What have we got? Does that sound like an old lady. Psst. Miss Appleton, wake up. There you go. I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. Things were so much easier before, weren't they? But there's no time to rest. Look at the time. Customers will be arriving any minute, and we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? No. We've got a recipe list here. Pigeon a la sauce rosé. You need a wild pigeon and cover it with special sauce. Spicy red swordfish. I need one blue swordfish tail. Add a chilli pepper and cover it with special sauce. Oh, and a hand and tongue stew. One plump human hand. A slimy tongue. And cover it with special sauce. Got some tongs there, I'll take those. I need to find a way to get that swordfish tail. And there's wax. Maybe we can get some burning embers from there. That's the special sauce. I don't know much about it. Let's see something. Oh, it's very dark. We need to light the candles. I know it's dark in here. Some light will make it much more inviting. I guess if we use those embers with the candles. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. We'll have that water jug while we're here. What's around? That's the doorbell. No time for a walk now. I smell fresh clients coming this way. Why don't you go make sure our special sauce is ready for them? Is this like some kind of thing where I'm going to be poisoning people? Smells delicious. Did you hear it? Horses. Growling stomachs. Here they come. Doors open, the bell's ringing. Do you think it could be them? Let's find out. Customers. Food. Give us food. Look, the chest. These are the men we've been looking for. Let's find them a place to sit quickly. So, what would you like to start with? Spicy red swordfish. Lots of omega-3. He wants pigeon a la sauce rosé. And I'm presuming he wants a human hand. Did you hear that, Miss Appleton? Hand and tongue stew? And you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing. I was right, you were wrong. So that's a spicy red swordfish for the mind controlling beast on the left, a pigeon a la sauce rosé for the sickled man on the right, and a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. Of course, all served with our delicious secret sauce. Come on, Miss Appleton, go and fetch the ingredients, and don't forget to check out the recipes list if you have any problem remembering. Okay, so... Swordfish. There's a swordfish tail and a chilli pepper. But how do I... Do I have to go out? Yes, I do. 
There's a pigeon. There's a lever. What's that for? Okay. There's a pigeon that we could catch. Hope you're not thinking of climbing up there. What else am I supposed to do? Joyous Lobster Inn. A ship. A fisherman that's not a fisherman. Poor old Pete, I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. A wet boot. How does that help me? Or can I throw it at the pigeon? Maybe. Sorry, she says. <laughs> One pigeon. That's the main ingredient for Pigeon Supreme a la sauce rosé. Now let's finish the dish. Well, we can make that Pigeon a la sauce rosé then. Just remind me. Just a pigeon and sauce. There we go. One Pigeon a la sauce rosé. That's ready to be served. That was for this guy, wasn't it? Yeah. Here's your dinner. Bon appetit. Oh, what's happening? Did he? He just died. You can tell by his face he really enjoyed his last supper. Don't worry. They usually pass out in taverns. They won't notice he stopped breathing. We got some rusty scissors, though. We could cut his tongue out. Can I use that on the swordfish tail? You'll never cut anything with those rusty scissors. If I chop his tongue off, <laughs> probably best not to. He's not hungry. I'm not surprised. Okay, so I somehow need to detach the... hand of the, um, of somebody, I guess. Can I... The scissors are no use there. feel like that ladder might become in handy at some point. But I'm not too sure. It's a tavern sign. can't open the jail door, so what exactly am I supposed to do then? Is there anything else I can pick out? There's nothing in here. Unless I can... No. Can't take the pot. Can't take the wax.
Can't do anything with that. Then where exactly am I supposed to go? Be patient. It's the bell. There must be something we've missed out here. Can't collect any seawater in there. Ah. There we go. That might be useful. Trapdoor. Let's go to this captain's cabin. He's dead. I think I know this guy. Let me taste his blood. What? Captain Clint McMurray, my sister's second husband. Looks like he won't be beating anyone up ever again. Okay, what's down in this trapdoor? Chili pepper, Luke. The seedling looks parched. You need to find out a nice drink. Aha. Uh -huh. Pop this here. And that's what we needed the pot for. And we'll just pop that on the uh, old sapling. Seedling, whatever. And it immediately grows to give us a chili pepper. And that should allow me now to make the swordfish. Because I've got the, the knife which should help me chop the swordfish tail off. So then the only thing left to do would be to, right, let's try, put your knife on the swordfish tail, there we go, combine those, and make ourselves some swordfish. <coughs> Spicy red swordfish. For this mind controlling fungus guy. Bon appetit! Look, oh, he fed it to the fungus. Oh, yes, a satisfied stomach. Do you get it? It's funny. Come on, laugh. Ha ha. It's not really funny, though, is it? Okay, so we've got a slimy tongue. Ah, we can get into the jail with these keys. Maybe we'll find a hand in the jail. Maybe. What is a skeleton hand? Is that... Is that all we need? Seems like there's no flesh on that hand, though. One hand, one tongue. Yeah, that's not going to count. Unless... No. So what use is a skeleton hand then? That's not what he ordered. Focus. He's not hungry. No, I'm not surprised. How do I get an actual hand? What's the point of a... I don't see the point of having a skeleton hand. It's 
seems kind of pointless. There's nothing here either apart from that chili pepper. Yeah. So where'd I get this hand from? There's nothing anywhere else. Apart from there's that lever. What's that for? I don't know. Be patient. He wants a hand and tongue stew. I've heard hand and tongue stew, not a pile of bones. That's food for a dog. Back to the kitchen. Is it? No. I don't really see what what else I can do. Like, how do I solve this? There's nowhere else I can go. There's nothing else I can see. I feel like I have to do something with that hand. There's nothing else around though. What else am I supposed to do? That seems to be pretty much all we can do. Can't go back into the captain's cabin. Can't climb the masts. Can't go up there. Have I missed something? Oh, I wonder about something. That guy that slumped over. It's not what he ordered. What am I supposed to do with this hand? To get the hand that I need? Can't dip the hand in special sauce. Am I missing something really obvious? Like really, really obvious? Oh wait, here we go. 
see if I put that in there. Aha! I think I have an idea. Coat the hand in wax, combine it with the tongue, and pop it in the special sauce. And there we go, he only has to eat it. The hand and tongue stew is ready to be served. Well, that was actually really obvious. Like, I was looking at the wax and thinking, what's that for? Bon appetit, my cartilaginous friend. Swallows it whole in one go. Another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? Great, now let's clean all this mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. Well, let's see what's in this chest that we were so concerned about. Right, so how do I clean them up then? Oh wait, I know what, I know how. What's going on? Can't go anywhere. Ah, but I can take the cart. This will be useful to carry the bodies out. There we go. Dum de doom. And something ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Yo ho ho and a bottle of oh here you are. What is that? We we've never used the grinder with such large specimens. Let's hope their bones don't get stuck. It's a grinder. Wow, and that's the special sauce. Ground up customers. Well done, Ms. Appleton. You performed diligently. There's a ghost. In the, is that what was in the chest? A ghost. Thank you, Ms. Appleton. I appreciate all you've done for me. At last, I'm allowed to rest. And so are you. I have so many good memories of you and I working side by side. You are my dearest friend. Uh, let's when those beasts dragged me out from our kitchen, I knew I was done for. I swear I didn't steal that gold nugget from them. I won it fair and square. I'm so confused. So, these pirates came and took that guy years ago and put him in this chest. Why would they then take him back? Maybe they forgot. You wouldn't rest till you found me dead or alive. So she's been killing loads of customers just so she can get this. Please find a quiet place to bury my bones near the old well where I like to spend time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. And goodbye. So now what? What? So that was them before. When they were making proper food for people. Not poisonous ones. That was it. The supper. Uh, a nice little tale about, uh, I suppose, the, the dark side of some parts of humanity. And vengeance the most important thing. That was written and designed by Octavio Navarro. Thank you very much. A really nice little game. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please feel free to hit that like button and maybe add a subscription and I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye for now.